Hi everybody, it's Mickey, and I'm going to show you how to make crosses that look like this. Or you can use different color for colors, and you can make them look like this, which is really pretty. So, they're really easy to make, and you don't need a lot of bands. I'm not sure exactly. I'll have to edit how much bands you need here. But, I'm going to make a blue cross right now. So... You don't really need this much bands. I'm just grabbing a whole bunch. So basically all you really need is one of your little looms. Nothing really special. You just need your hook too. You could use your fingers to be honest. Sometimes you can. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to start at the top and you want to take a band and you want to take a single band. And you want to just twist it like an infinity sign and then put it together. So when you do it, it's like double band almost. But it's only one band, so I'll show you again. Take it, twist it, and then go like this. Or if you want to do it on the loom, you can take it and you can put it on it. And then you can stretch it across, twist it, and then pull it back on the band. So it's double loop. Or you could do it on your hook. You could take this, twist it, put it back on, and then put it on the thing. But for now, I'm just gonna be twisting it with my hands. And you're gonna use bands like this throughout the entire thing, unless I say not to. So you're gonna take, you're gonna put eight bands across here. So one, two, three, four. So now we have four. Zoom in so you guys can see. Here is five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight going across here. And then in the end, you wanna make a cat band. I'm gonna make my cat band dark blue so you guys can really see it. You wanna wrap it around this, your last pin that you used to band on. You wanna wrap it around there four times. So, this is one, two, three, four. So now that's a cat band. So now what you're gonna do is, you can just keep it facing towards you. It really doesn't matter what way you do it. So you can push the bands down if you want to, which I did because it's easier. You want to count four pins in, one, two, three, four. And at that pin, you're going to take, you're going to pretend the other bands aren't there. You're going to take, I'm going to use purple so you guys can see it. Okay, so you're going to uh, double band it, I guess, again. Twist it, put it on. And then on the fourth pin in, you're going to lay it across here. One, here I'll turn it around so it's easier for you guys. One, and then and do two, and three. So you're only gonna put three bands across like this, and if these are gonna be like the sides of the cross, so they're gonna be the pink part right here. So you can do it any color you want the arms on the cross to be. Then you're gonna add a cat band, which you're going to loop it around. Oops. You're gonna loop it around four times. I'm gonna use green so you guys can see. One, two, three. Oops. Let's <laughs> take one, and that's four. So there's four. And then you're gonna turn yours around. So if there is an arrow there, the arrows are pointing towards you. It's a little white arrows, because you can't really see them a lot. Sit that back on there. And you're gonna hook it. Not this part, not in the blue, but only your arm, which is the purple. So you're gonna reach inside the cat band. You're gonna grab the purple, pull it through, and loop it onto the one in front of it. Just like that. You can do that just down the purples. So you're gonna grab it, loop it over, Grab it and loop it over. So now it should be like this, where all of them are looped right here. And you're gonna hold, put your thumb on the edge here, on the side where the cat band is not You're gonna pull up and just drag it to the side. I'm gonna put it to the left side. 
So that's like your first arm on the cross. You're gonna do that same process again. You're gonna take a band. Oops, that's a blue band. You're gonna take a band and double side it. And then you're gonna put it on that pin. Take a band it and double side it. Put it on the pin. You can do that one more time. So it's like this. And then you're gonna put a cat band again. I'll use green so you guys can see it. Wrap it around four times. One, two, three, and four. So there you go. You're gonna hook it again. Reach inside the cat band and grab only the purples. So you don't wanna grab the blues below it or whatever color that you guys are using. Only grab the orange colors. And then you're gonna grab it, hook it over, grab it, hook it over. Oops, I grabbed some of the blue. If you grab some of the blue, it's okay. You can just slip it back over. Just pretend it never happened. As long as you don't hook it, keep going away. You can kind of feel from the heaviness on it. Just gonna pull that blue back down here and grab the purple. Put it on. Okay, so now again, you're going to put your finger down. You're gonna lift it up and you can pull it to the right or the left, whatever side you don't have one on. And then you can just leave those stairs, ignore them. Go back here, where you were, and you're gonna hook all the way down here to the end. Starting here, you're gonna reach inside that blue cat band, or whatever color cat band, grab your um, band, and pull it over. Grab the band, and pull it over, and so on. Okay, so when you get here, you just want to be extra careful. You can pull it to the side. Make sure you go through all the bands. Grab the blue. Oops. Grab the blue. And pull it up. And over. There you go. My band didn't break. That's good. I'm using Rain Balloon Bands. That's what they're called. That's the brand. And they're just going to keep going. Uh -huh. Okay, so at the end, you can either use one, you can either use a C-clip to secure it, or you can do a slip knot. To do a slip knot, you just want to turn it in, you can pull the bottom one up and over onto the top, like this, and just pull it a little, and put it back on, and you can start taking your cross off of the loom, pull it off, when you get here, get your hook to get it all over. You can pull it off, pull this a couple times. You can open up the arms and legs, and here's your cross. It's a very colorful cross. So like I said, you can make it all different colors, and it really doesn't use a lot of bands. So, bye!